All right, today we are going to talk about Green Aventurine. And Green Aventurine, as you can see, isn't very exciting to look at. <laughs> it's not the most exciting crystal mineral. There's many that are way more eye-popping than Green Aventurine. And I think it's because of this reason that Green Aventurine is commonly just overlooked it's it's probably one of the most overlooked gemstones um it's pretty common it's in all the crystal shops i'm sure you could get this anywhere online on amazon but again it's not the most eye-popping thing to look at but we're still going to talk about it and it has its uses so green aventurine the way I view this is very simple. I view Green Aventurine like a good luck charm. And that's what I use it for pretty much exclusively. This is, like I said, it's often very overlooked in the, in the crystal uh, gemstone world because it's probably plain. It has just a soft, dull green color to it, but... And it, it's not mind-blowingly, you know, powerful. Like you're gonna just feel your energy body buzzing when you when you hold it. But the primary use I specifically use this gemstone for is a good luck charm. And everybody could use some good luck, right? Absolutely. Now, when I say good luck, it, it's good luck, prosperity. Uh, those are the two kind of key words. Uh, now. What is it going to do in terms of good luck? It's going to sway the tiny little outcomes. And what I mean by that is, I'll try to give you an example. Um, let's say that you carry this a lot. Some, some people, the cool part about this is it's very shapeable in terms of jewelry. So it could be very easily made into like a pendant, uh, a bracelet, um, all that kind of stuff, which gives some, I mean, people buy it for more of those reasons for jewelry, probably than anything else. But if you use like a little, um, pocket stone, that's kind of what I was trying to think of there, a pocket stone where you could just kind of carry this in your pocket and you could even get smaller little, uh, gemstones, which will fit perfectly in your pocket. And when I say good luck charm, are you going to hit the lottery on day one? Probably not. Are you going to be a millionaire within a, holding one of these within a couple days? Probably not. But it's going to sway those tiny little outcomes. And a good example, let's say, this is probably a bad example, but let's say you're at the convenience store. I'm just trying to think of something here. So let's say you're at the convenience store and you're buying, you're looking for something at the counter. I, I don't know. What do you buy at the counter? Um, let's say, I, I don't want to use cigarettes as an example. Let's say you're, uh, you're, I'm, I'm just going to pick anything, a pencil. And you say, Hey, do you guys still have those pencils, uh, behind the counter there? Cause you're all the time you're buying these pencils <laughs> and the, the guy looks at you and he says, Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like we're sold out of them. And you're like, Oh, okay. Oh, well, no problem. And then he kind of glances down and says, Oh, wait a second. I just see another one. Here's another pencil. You know what? You're in luck. I found one. It was sitting down here hiding. Do you want that one? That's kind of what I'm talking about. Little, t little things in life that it's going to kind of push the outcome toward you in a, in a, in a good successful manner. And yeah, sure. That could be a lottery ticket. That could be you go into the casino gambling. It could be a lot of things, but a lot of times you're, you're not going to see it immediately until you look back and say, Oh, okay. That kind of went my way in this direction or that direction. Usually it'll go in a positive way as opposed to in a negative way. So that is what green adventuring does. It's going to sway those outcomes in your direction. And again, it's not the most powerful gemstone where you're going to feel it like buzzing in your hand and it's going to be absolutely life-changing um 
but it's a it's a great one. It's one that here's another good example. I I love to fish, and say if I go out on my boat or where whatever the case may be, if I go out fishing, I'm taking a piece of green aventurine with me, or I'm gonna wear. Um, I have a gemstone where the it's like a little pendant. I could pop the gemstone in the, a little wire cage, so you could change them. So if I need a little extra luck, and when I go fishing, that's what I'm pop I'm popping in there. Um, I actually don't laugh at me, but I leave uh, a small. It might be about this size on my boat actually, so I kind of leave it there, and it's it's gonna help it's gonna help with those just that extra big bit of luck you need and am i catching more fish because of green aventurine absolutely absolutely i am so here's a here's a good one i wanted to show you this because this is rough and i i like green aventurine in more of the rough stage this is from brazil you can see that the top is polished but the rest is left rough and that's kind of what you're looking at when you get a rough specimen of uh, green aventurine. Again, it's not eye-popping and amazing. This isn't going to be one of the first specimens that you're going to show somebody that you're, wow, check this out. But it has its benefits. It's also associated with the heart chakra. And it's a very, very soft, gentle crystal. The It's not, I mean, yes, if you work with it enough, it can aid in opening the heart chakra, cleansing the heart chakra, but there's so many other crystals and, and minerals that are better for that, for better specifically for the heart chakra that I wouldn't even use it for that purpose. I, I mean, everybody uses stuff differently and has different experiences to each their own, but when you need a boost of good luck, a little kick of good luck and prosperity, this is the crystal for you. And it's one of those where you kind of just want to toss it in, whether you are toss it in your purse, your pocket, or it's jewelry, and you just kind of forget about it. You don't have to do anything with it. It works passively. It'll connect with your energy body. You don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to charge it. You don't have to cleanse it. You don't have to do anything. It's my use. It's a good luck charm. And the only other thing I would say with Green Aventurine I used to, um, it's kind of embarrassing now, well, not that embarrassing, but I used to always think it was called Green Adventurine. And I used to refer to it as Green Adventurine, like you're going on an adventure. But you know what? That's the perfect name to remember it by. It's Green Adventurine. But if you do remember it by Adventurine, it's kind of perfect in a way because... That's kind of another thing where it's one of its uses besides good luck would be where you're kind of needing that little push in life to go on that adventure, to go on that little, uh, whether it be that fishing trip or a camping expedition or going out in nature or whatever the case may be, that it gives you kind of that unrealized push to try new things out in life. And Again, it's a very small little sway where it's going to just push you gently, give you that good luck, give you those good vibes, but it is effective. And trust me, I wouldn't take this crystal out on my fishing adventures with me if I didn't think it was doing anything and bringing me good luck. And I view this as my good luck charm. I mean, there's other crystals that uh, are associated with good luck and prosperity and um like pyrite pyrite is definitely one of them but green aventurine is the one for me and green is also one of my favorite colors and it kind of has a little bit of a teal to it and again is it eye popping is it amazing nee, not really it often gets always overlooked but i would recommend if you're going to use it at all Use it as a good luck charm. Wear it as some jewelry, and you will notice those little tiny things are going to start going your way. And when you collect them all together and look back at them, hey, it's better to have 9 out of 10 victories than 9 out of 10 losses. So 
I would recommend working with this. And there's the other cool part about Green Aventurine is they can carve this. You can often find this carved in cool shapes. I've seen like little dragons, um, uh, all that kind of stuff too, too, which is pretty cool. So that would be something as well if you're interested in, in that route. Um, just wanted to mention as well, I also sell my crystals on Etsy. I have an Etsy shop. So please check that out and please subscribe and support the channel. And uh, once again, I've mentioned this in other videos. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I plan on giving away crystals on a weekly basis, uh, having some type of live giveaway. Um, haven't quite gotten there yet, but I'm hoping soon enough. So make sure to keep checking back for more videos. I'm, I'm planning on doing two new ones every single week. And there is a lot of crystals and gemstones to go over. So, all right, that's going to wrap this up for Green Adventurine. Joking, Green Adventurine. So I will see you guys next time and we'll talk about a different one.